Prosper is the second most important mining commodity in Kenya after soda ash, which is a key component in the manufacture of some industrial commodities, including steel, hydrofluoric acid, and opacent glass. The mining of the commodity is dominated by Kenya Flospar Mining Company based in Elgeo Marquette County and is associated with the former Kanu strongman Nicholas B. Wood. After many years of alleged underpaying royalties, the government is finally ready to act. For all mining companies, we, don't go, we are not going to entertain business as usual as we need to conform to the law in terms of compliance, in terms of reporting, in terms of environmental issues in terms of, 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 of community issues, in terms of paying the dues to the government. The new rate for, 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 for FLOSPA is now 2.5%. Gradually, every two years, it will go up, and it will be capped at 5%. The last available royalty figures indicate that the company, which has been on operation over the last 28 years, shipped out 91,000 metric tons in 2012, valued at 3 billion shillings. The company paid royalties amounting to 1.54 million shillings in the same year. Balala says the company also diverted funds meant for compensation of locals running into millions of shillings. The team is expected to inform the government how the floor spa miner managed to get its license and for how long. Meanwhile, Balala has objected to the payment of tax refund claim by base titanium amounting to 2.5 billion shillings, noting that the company must pay royalties amounting to 5% of the total shipments done last year. Truly, base titanium is demanding 2.5 billion as, as their uh, refund for VAT. And then they are paying government 100 million Kenya shillings as royalties. Then are we not funding them? to take our wealth. In 2014, the company paid royalties of up to 100 million shillings, but the mining seer says the figure is low by over 300 million shillings. O'Brien, given for Business News Hour.